What's up guys, back with another episode of Rich Talk And we're going to be talking today about World Food Day um, As you may or may not have known, October 16th, uh, Monday The previous, I mean, you know, two days ago <laughs> um, Was w- World Food Day This day was made to honor the founding of the Food and Agriculture Administration or Organization of the UN in 1945 And the theme this year was change the future of migration, invest in food security and rural development. So what we're talking about today is overall food and supply and things that are going on in the world, even in America or other highly developed places. So 11.3% of the world's population is hungry. That's approximately 800 million people who are undernourished and don't make the recommended 2100 calories or even less and 98 percent of that hunger is in underdeveloped countries so as much as there's people starving in america the availability to get food from things like shelters and pantries and things are more available in other countries they don't have those kind of subsidies and other kinds of um, ways to get the food out and different kinds of things and it turns out that in these developing countries children tend to die before the age of five and most of them are because of hunger related causes the sad thing about this whole situation is not even that the people are still starving but the fact that the number is continuing to rise it 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 has rose since 2015 from 777 million to the now 815 million people uh, last year and it was uh, even higher this year so not only is it just because more people are being born but people who are who have been malnourished or undernourished for a long time are still being undernourished also there's been things like famines that that struck sudan in 2017 and other things caused by conflict affected countries like nigeria somalia yemen and in the middle eastern countries that we we talk about a lot so it's specifically gotten worse in sub-saharan africa southeast and western asia and mostly because of conflict and certain kinds of droughts and floods and and different kinds of things that are weather related that reduce the food supply for people who can't afford a reasonable uh, supply. So over the past 10 years, violent conflicts have increased a lot. And in these countries that are are, um, in need of food are where they are specifically seen. So there clearly is a correlation between those two. Undernourishment is tends to be more of a, a concern for younger children under the age of five. But it's not in correlation with everything. Sometimes the conflict might increase the food, maybe from foreign aid, and sometimes it might decrease due to um, conflicts and uh, uh, parents dying and nobody able to support the children. So it all depends. But uh, the, the one of the most important parts of I mean, most important things that we have to think about when we're talking about malnourishment is stunted growth. So stunted growth is basically when a child is underdeveloped because they don't have the nutrients that is needed for them to grow. And it can increase the risk of them having impaired uh, reasoning skills, weakening uh, uh, bad performance at school, and infectious diseases, uh, them dying from them easily as well as certain things that may cause, for example, um, diarrhea, which can can potentially take a lot of water from you. And if they don't have water and proper nutrients, it can cause them to die from something that's as simple as, as drinking a little water in another well-developed country. But as much as under uh, malnutri- malnutrition is, is uh, a problem, children that are becoming overweight under the age of five is also becoming a problem in most regions. While adult obesity continues to rise in all regions. So in some cases, 
Adults are seen to have obesity in the same region and the children would be underweight in also the same region. So it seems to be inconsistent of whether there is food or whether the children are, are getting it because they don't have a place to get the food. Stunted growth has affected in 2016 155 million children under 5. And it's also gi given them uh, a lot of uh, things that I previously mentioned. Decreased um, cognitive function, weakened performance in school, work, and ability, and dying from simple infections that are easy to treat. The, the prevalence of stunting fell from 29% to 22% in between 2005 to 2016. So we are making some changes to that situation. From 2005 to 2016, most regions achieved a reduction in stunt growth, stunted growth, with the rate of improvement being the fastest in Latin America and Asia and the Caribbean. In sub, the subregions in Africa have a much slower rate of recovery of the or rate of decrease of stunted growth and also it's n it's not keeping up with the f the rate of population increase so it's actually even if it's going down the increase of the population is going up so fast that it's making less difference and the percentage is going up so Southern Asia stands out with a high um, prevalence of 15.4% and almost 9% Southeast Asia is far off the target set by the international agreed global nutrition target. And it's somewhat low in Africa, but it probably might be due to the fact that we tend to focus most on those regions first and then worry about the other areas. in terms of funding and things a lot of people send a lot of things to africa and and stuff but they don't realize or they don't think about southeast asia and the middle east and different kinds of places where hunger is still prevalent or malnutrition or under under um, nutrition so going back to uh, overweight children Childhood overweightness or obesity has been growing. It's estimated that 41 million children under 5 have been overweight in 2016, up from 5% in 2005. So with the exception of Western Africa, South America and East Asia, where slight decreases were recorded between 2005 and 2016, every other region has remain pretty much constant uh, or consistent and other areas registered increases in childhood uh, overweightness the fastest rising being southeast asia and oceanic or oceania or like um australia and uh, and uh, let's say uh, papua new guinea and those areas So another concern is uh, adult obesity. So adult obesity has been rising significantly and now more than between the 1980s and 2014, the prevalence of obesity has doubled. More than 600 million adults were obese, which is equal to about 13% of the world's adult population. The most severe was Northern America, Europe, Oceania, where 28% of the adults are classified as obese, compared with 7% in Asia and 11% in Africa. In Latin America and the Caribbean, roughly one quarter of the adult population is currently considered obese. And it's something that has never happened before. So these are some of the the situations that we're going we're going through in terms of the obesity and malnutrition all, all the things related to food and agriculture that the world food day or the, the society dealt with this um past monday 
So if you found this uh, useful or you found this resource interesting, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have some extra time, check out my Anchor FM page. Uh, it's called Rich Talk, like my YouTube. So anyways, thanks for watching.